Hi everyone. <clears throat> I wanted to show you some things that I've been doing lately. I've been really busy. Um, I teach at ITT Tech as an English teacher and it's been finals week so I haven't had a chance to do anything but watch a few videos and grade papers. Um, but here's something that I got recently. Um, last week, <clears throat> it's just really cute. I got it um, at the Joann's kind of dollar area and it's like a clip. See, it's got a little clip in there. It's like a little um, clothesline pin, really. And um, it's a little wood thing, and it has it's a butterfly. It's very cute. And I painted it with my homemade um, Twinkling H2Os. And then I rubbed um, glossy accents all over it and embedded some bling on it. Did a little distressing around the edges. And put some bling for the eyes, and there's some little butterfly bling down here. It's two-sided. And it sits on my desk. It's so cute. I just love it. It sits on my desk and holds um, just things that I've been sent. This is a tag that was given by Allison. Um, she was the one who was my um, trade partner for the um, for the kit swap last month. And this is the tag that she sent me with her kit. So it sits on my desk. Another interesting thing that I'd like to share are these little flowers that I got recently. Um, I got them off of eBay, and I got them for 99 cents plus shipping. I want to show you how many I got. I should have been more prepared, shouldn't I? Gosh. <clears throat> this is the package. You see how many flowers are in there? Ooh. Let's see if I can get this in a position where you can actually see. Look at that. I've already taken one of the sticks out and used quite a few of them. See, these are the sticks. You can see, so it had one more of these in it. 99 cents plus shipping. Really nice. Looks a lot like those little tiny Prima flowers that everybody gets like 9 or 12 of them for $3. <clears throat> so for the same price, I got this mini. And I got them in this um, really plain color. I can just glimmer mist them or whatever. Do any kind of thing to them so they can be my color. Anyway, there's those. I love them. Um, speaking of things that I've been getting off of eBay, I get a bunch of these kind of things. You know, you guys have been getting these off of the eBay, the island, I think it's Island Scrapper. I got one in every color, every style in white, so that I could create my own flower things. So I'd like to show you some of the flowers that I have created. Um... This one, I used a little burlap, and I got some fabric stiffener. I decided to try this stuff on my paper, um, my paper cutout flowers. To, I'm going to try the Laura Dennison method with this stuff. It's just a spray, um, <coughs> rather than the spray starch. I don't know why. I just that's I could that's what I found. Um, anyway, so you can see this here is one of those um, hydrangea prima flowers, and I sprayed it with my homemade glimmer mist. And then I added the diamond dust that you get at Michael's. And these little star-shaped flowers are some that Allison sent me, although I've found a source for those on eBay. And as soon as I can afford it, I will make a big order to, for, for those. This and amongst many other really cool little flowers they've got. And these are just some leaves that she, Allison had sent me too. And this one is a felt flower. And then one of the little eBay flowers, you can kind of hardly see it. Night Glimmer misted that and put some of the diamond dust stuff on it. And then the center is um, a little uh, flower that I got from Michaels. Let me show you those. These came in a big package like this. There's tons of them. Look at them. Tons of them. I think they were $2 or maybe $3 for the whole package. And this isn't all of them. They just keep going. Found them in the bridal section. They're really, really pretty. And cheap. I like cheap. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Oh, this one is just another one of those. It's got homemade glimmer mist on the on the on the uh, prima flower. And then of course the little diamond dust. I love that diamond dust. I'm using the heck out of it. And then this the one in the center is one that Allison had sent me with a bling in the middle. This one is a paper flower. The big flower is a paper flower. And it's kind of 
I sprayed it with this spray starch and boy, this stuff, that's some stiff flowers. Um, they're really cool. And I kind of used Roxy Carr's um, pinch it method. Um, and then I forced it over a little piece of um, tin foil like Laura Dennison and um, dried it. So, and then I did a little bit of distressing and then there's a, this one here is um, just a regular um, glimmer misted flower. Uh, Prima with the diamond dust and then one of those little white flowers in the middle and this is another one of those that you can get in the um, bridal section pretty pretty self-explanatory this one has two of those flowers the outer the bigger one is a Prima flower um, I did stamp it with a text stamp um, in the brown after I sprayed it with the blue and then I put the um, diamond dust on it and then there's another smaller Prima flower and these are the sprays that you can get um, at Michael's. I think they're in the wedding section. They're just those little sta stamens. And this one is kind of cool. Um, this here is brocade adhered to paper. And um, once you've adhered the brocade to paper, it won't fray. I'm going to do a tutorial, probably this tomorrow actually, on how to adhere your fabric to paper so that you can do anything to it. You can die cut it, you can cut it with scissors, you can mold it like this, and it stays flexible but stiff. Um, and this is just a prima flower with diamond dust and another prima flower that's been glimmer misted with diamond dust and that's one of those flowers and I just rubbed it on my um, distress pad and then sprayed it with water and it and it turned that beautiful color brown that you see there. Um, just another one with the stamen in it, pretty similar to the other one. Um, this fabric Piece. I think it came off of just a cheap silk flower. It's been, it's sort of some leaves that I've got had. Sorry for getting out of uh, frame there. But anyway, it's some leaves that I've had lying around. And um, I just like the way that looked. And this is a flower that I got from Allison. Um, just a felt flower that I cut out with my Big Shot and the Prima and a little half pearl. And this one, this is so cool. This is a, a felt butterfly that Allison had sent me in the kit. I'm, I'm using that stuff that Allison sent me up really quick. Um, anyway, I like to use stuff up. I think it's best that way. It's more fun used. And then this is, of course, a glimmer misted um, Prima and the leaves that Allison had sent me. And this one... These are some things that Allison sent me too. They're sort of long leaf things. This one was pink, but I did did a little bit of work on it. One of those little flowers and a glimmer misted prima. Mm, same thing. Allison sent me these sort of long paper things, and I just put them all together. I really like this one. <laughs> this one's sort of funny. Um, this this is a just a fabric flower I think from the dollar store and I just cut the petals and then adhered them and layered it. This is a piece, a glimmer misted piece that I cut with my Big Shot, just a piece of paper. I'd been testing my homemade glimmer mist to see how it looked, um, and then I distressed it along the edges. And then um, this is one of those sort of daisy flowers. And this is the cap to a beer bottle. It's just so pretty. I put it on a flower. I really like that horse. Yeah, I think it's cool. Maybe other people think it's tacky, but I like it. Um, this is the other fancy one I had. I had a really large mulberry flower that I added some distress ink to, and then I sprayed it so it sort of, um, so that it sort of uh, spread in. And then um, one of my brocade flowers and just a little simple blue prima that's been stamped on it, a little half pearl, and then, you know, just a little felt flower with some uh, prima and a half flower. I am working on inventing my own way. No, oh, I don't think you can see that. My own way to make those stamens. Um, and I'll keep you updated. I think what I need, let's see if I can find something white. There. Can you see that? 
I think what I need to do, um, I think what would really look good, I have some of that flower soft, but it's not really the right color for a stamen. So, um, see it's the, the cute little um, pink and green one. Um, it's called Heather. So I think the neatest way to make these stamens might be, I used, this is um, just that fun flock. And yeah, I better stop. But anyway, I'll let you know if I get a really cool way to make those stamens. Have a good night. Thanks.